Hello everyone, so today will be a different type of lecture or a short video as to say in which I'm going to discuss how I make my lectures for Edu Academic. So the first step is to make the lecture. Some make their lecture in Microsoft PowerPoint. Well I make well I like to make my lecture in Google Slides. I like Google Slides because it's more user friendly to me, but you can also do this procedure with Microsoft PowerPoint as well. So once you have made your lecture, now you want to record the lecture. So I have a Windows 10 laptop as you can see from down here. I have a Windows 10 laptop. So there's a shortcut key and the shortcut key is Windows plus G, G as in goal. So what you press is the Windows key plus G. So then with uh, when you press that you open this this setup so then over here as you can see there's this capture button now this one is to record the screen and make sure that this is on so that uh, it also records your audio so once you click that it's basically going to start recording your screen and once you are basically done recording your screen uh, there will be a tiny pop-up right here in which you can end the recording at any time it's located right here so the next step is to open windows movie maker so why we need to open windows movie maker as the file you just recorded with the help of windows game bar is really big the last lecture i recorded was almost one gigabyte so then what you want to do is compress that file and make that file smaller so it's easier to send so you need to open windows movie maker so on Windows 10 laptops, Windows Movie Maker is not already installed. You have to install it from the Windows website. So once you install it and open it, it looks like this. What you're going to do is you, you're going to click on this button right here, Add Videos and Photos. So once you click on that, it's going to take you, then you can basically select which file you want to open. So then I, for the sake of the video, I opened my first lecture. And then once you open it, it's going to look like this. Now here comes the tricky part. What you're going to do, you're going to click on file. Once you click on file, you're going to go to save movie option. It's right here. And then from the save movie option, what you're going to do, you're going to scroll all the way down. You want to scroll all the way down till you get to create custom setting. So once you click on that, uh, what you want to input is setting is for high definition display. You can give it any name. I gave my name testing.2. And then you, go, you want to keep these settings the same, the width, height, bit rate. What you want to change is the frame rate, originally from 30 FPS. You want to switch it to 20 FPS. And the audio format, you want to make it to 96 kbps, 44.1 kilohertz stereo sound. And then you will click the save button. Now once you click the save button, uh, you're basically you have saved this custom setting and then how to save your video how to compress it in that custom setting you're going to go to file save movie and then as you can see I named mine testing.2 and it's right here the custom setting I created and once I click that basically my video my video will get compressed as per this format so basically it, my last video got compressed from an original one gigabyte to only like 300 or 200 megabytes so with the help of this uh, process you can compress really large videos all the lectures the large lectures you have recorded and the last step is to just add this new compressed video file uh, to your email you will send at baskenjoy at gmail.com so that's the last step so i'll just go over the procedure once again uh, you can basically record your lecture either you can make your lecture either in Google Slides or Microsoft PowerPoint You can record it with the help of the Windows game bar Then if the file is really big then you can go to Windows Movie Maker compress it by creating a custom setting and then uh, Save your file in that custom setting and with the help of that your movie or your lecture will be saved and then you can mail that to baskenjoy at the rate gmail.com. Hopefully you guys found this lecture helpful. So, and next time I'll be taking the lesson number three of Fundamental Unit of Life. Oh, looking forward to see you all.